you know it's gonna be a good day when we got the Duramax and Chomper together for a video. This has easily got to be the best duo that I've ever had. GMT 800 was literally the best thing ever made. And today's video is all about the 99 to 07 guys out there. So this is gonna be, in my opinion, a must do upgrade, just like the Escalade cluster, the steering wheel upgrade, a column shifter upgrade. Um, exhaust, maybe window tint, maybe some new leather, whatever you touch, feel, see, hear, smell. Every time you drive your truck that can be upgraded, you gotta do it. It just makes the overall experience that much better. And today, we're definitely gonna be doing that. I've been wanting to do this for, honestly, a couple years at this point. I don't know why it's taking me this long. It is one of the most cost efficient cheapest things that you can do that you're gonna touch every time you drive your truck so like i said i definitely think it's a must do upgrade and i'm stoked that we're finally doing it so let's go ahead check it out so here's chomper's original key fob honestly a classic design it feels good in the hand but it is pretty cheap and obviously mine's worn slap out it does still work but not looking too hot so we're going to be upgrading it to this 2015 style which looks absolutely killer um, looks and for the most part feels just like my 2018 Silverado's key fob. It's not quite as heavy duty because this does have plastic instead of metal, but button feels good. I'm stoked. That is a, uh, that's quite the major upgrade. So now I'll have a backup. And then here's the Duramax's original key fob. It actually didn't come with one, but I'm sure it looks just like Chompers. And we're going to be upgrading it to this 2020 plus style key fob which honestly feels amazing super high quality feeling this one has metal instead of plastic and that is a that's a genuine game changer if you're going off of appearance i like the 2018 style or the 15 style um, better i just like the way that it looks but as far as these two the way that they feel 2020 plus is so much more superior it feels great it's a lot heavier it's probably two three times as heavy at least because uh, of the metal versus the plastic so yeah just based off of feel this one definitely wins based off of looks i mean it's a toss-up but personal preference i like this style better but with that said let's go ahead and program them chomper duramax now once you've gotten in your truck go ahead stick your key in hit the unlock button cycle twice on off once twice now you can let go of that. We want to take our new key fob and hit the lock unlock button and hold them for up to 30 seconds. Just like that, the door worked. Now we want to take our original key fob because it is not programmed currently. Do the exact same thing, hold the lock and unlock button. Boom, there we go. Now all we gotta do is cycle once. Turn it off. Let's see if our new key fob works. <laughs> it does, let's see if our original does. Booyah. All right, let's hop in the Duramax, see if we can program it. Let's go ahead and pop up in this big girl. Gonna be doing the exact same thing that we just did in Chomper. So key in, hold unlock, one, Two. Hold lock unlock up to 30 seconds. Now one cycle. Let's try her out. <laughs> Dude, this is something small, but I'm so freaking stoked to finally have a key fob for this truck. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I'm more excited about this than I probably should be. It just feels so good and it's so nice to finally have a fob for the Duramax. It's so annoying every time I drive that thing anywhere, having to use the key to open it. I know first world problems, but still, this is so freaking nice. Chomper, working perfect. Duramax, working perfect. And I just did a drop test on the 2020 style because it was in my lap and I hopped out of the Duramax, totally forgot. So four foot to concrete, really don't see any issues with it whatsoever and it still works perfect so uh <laughs> unintentional drop test done still working but uh yeah dude I i'm stoked so huge huge shout out to uh boost auto for the key fobs i'll have a link to them in the description once again anything you touch feel see hear uh every time you drive your truck man if you can make it better 
freaking do it that's what it's all about and this right here every time you go to get in your truck or leave it you're going to be clicking this and my gosh it feels good once again uh the 2020 plus with the metal i feel like feels better uh it's definitely heavier weight i would probably stick with this one but i like the looks of this one so much i don't know just depends this one feels much more premium and a lot closer to an oem fob I'm just being totally honest with y'all because plastic versus metal. So anyways, I'm going to quit rambling. That's the video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a like. Drop a comment. Ring that bell notification. Check out the links in the description. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I almost forgot the most important part whenever you're sitting at a restaurant or something. and Someone's getting a little too close to your truck. You got to be able to set that alarm off. Let's try chomper first. Yes, sir. And the Duramax, focus, come on, focus. Dang, Duramax got the better horn. Chomper, you sounding a little tired. All right, guys, I'll see you all in the next one. And I'm sure there's a great reason why they don't make them for Fords, but Boost Auto, if you could hook us Ford boys up, we would definitely appreciate a modern key fob or just a key fob in general because uh, Larry is crying.